We're here at Happy Trails, and uh, this is Wayne and Naomi's rig right across the street from ours. And I'm going to uh, walk back here and take another shot of ours, and then we'll show you some people we haven't seen before. Uh, here's our rig here, and here we've got some people over here, and we're going to go over and talk to them. <laughs> We're in warm, sunny Arizona, and I'm freezing to death. Who's that guy next to you? <laughs> Say something, Jeff. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Yeah. I thought we were just I had all the folks back home, and I'm glad to be here. Okay, then Wayne and Naomi. Lovely winter weather in sunny Arizona. <laughs> in sunny Arizona. Okay, bye bye. That's a road runner. We're uh, here in Phoenix and we've been going up towards Flagstaff on a kind of side journey and we spotted this little bird. Oh, we'd grab a picture of it. <laughs> this is uh, what they call Montezuma's Castle. This is a cliff dwellings here in uh, Verde Valley. That's very interesting. We're going to move on and see what else they have. preparing food, getting supplies. Well, this is known as Montezuma as well. And it's part of the sites we're seeing here in Arizona. Okay, we're going to try this again now. Uh, this is the mission of San Xavier. Yeah, it's very picturesque, and we're going to go inside and take a look around. Ooh. 
This is a uh, Mexican graveyard, and I thought it was extremely interesting. This is just north of the mission that we had uh, just visited. I haven't seen a graveyard quite like this one before. We're here at the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum and we're watching all these animals and that and cactus. I've never seen so many cactus of different varieties all at one place. What are those called, uh, Naomi? They're called the bow gem. They got their name from some explorer who was going through and his son said, looked at him and said, ho, ho. <laughs> We're up here on what they call A Mountain above uh, Tucson and we're actually kind of scanning the, uh, the city here and looking generally from north to east and then gradually going south. It's pretty well spread out. Mom and Tex, they lived down here for a while and off in the east that direction that they were in the ranch, or at a ranch. 
One correction I also want to make is the fact that when I was taking pictures of that graveyard, I called it a Mexican graveyard, and a little later after that, I found out that that in fact was not a Mexican graveyard, but it was an Indian graveyard. So, anyway, that's the big city of Tucson. Well, here we are at Old Tucson. We're going to be going inside and seeing what they've got to offer. And uh, everything we hear is supposed to be extremely interesting. Hi, Ronald. <laughs> what are you doing up there? gonna up and go with you peaceable life nope you're right about that bounty hunter life and death were always part of the stories of the old west that have been told here at old tucson studios from how the west was won to rio bravo and mcclintock from little house on the prairie to bonanza and the wild wild west today's story is no exception even in this small frontier town on the edge of the Pony Express route from Kansas City to San Francisco, the West was never peaceful. By the
the middle of the 1800s, bounty hunters were an unofficial arm of the law. They collected rewards for catching lawbreakers. Some even rewarded for bringing them back. We're here in Keno Bay and we're going to be taking some pictures of the area around here. And of course, this pelican is quite an interesting little guy. And there's a lot of Mexican fishing boats in here. And what they're doing, this here is a uh, pickup full of shrimp, and man, I'm telling you, there is a lot of shrimp there. Be a lot of good eating. This is what they call a wood factory, and we have one fellow over here, but he's just working away and making different figures. He makes a lot of noise. Mexican streets right across from this wood factory and we'll give you a little shot of it. This is all part of what they call Old Kino or Old Kino Bay. Five day stay and actually I should say this is Kino Bay in Sonora, Mexico. Right down below us is an RV park where the in-laws of Larry Reynolds is staying. They're very fine folks. And we've had the pleasure of meeting them and going to dinner with them. And then back over in another area, if I can pick it out, I'll show you where our rig is. We're over in a campground here. And tomorrow, Wayne and I will go fishing and uh, it was uh, set up by Larry Reynolds' father-in-law, so we're looking forward to that. We went swimming today, and the water was just fantastic. And it is really, really quite a place. Don't know if we'll ever return or not, but we've certainly enjoyed it while we've been here. Very good. Well, each one of those yellowtail, they say, will average around 15 or 16 pounds. Well, so. right. Okay, I'm zeroing in on you, Daryl. You're you're the ship's captain. And here's his wife, uh, Wanda, and then uh, Larry, who made the arrangements for our trip. So we're really thrilled at our catch. Well, we're here in Yuma, and uh, right now I'm taking a picture across the street from where Ed and Howard live in, down here in Yuma. And they're having a yard sale. Today, so I thought I'd shoot across there and over here of course is a little trailer house that mom has been stand, or staying in during the past two or three winters. So we'll go over and visit with him a little bit. Here we have Ed, huh? 
Say hi, Edna. Uh, hi, Edna. Hi, Edna. <laughs> Yeah, here we have Florence. Hello, Florence. And of course, Mom's in the background there, in the in the shade. And I the on you. Here's some of the items on their tables they got up for sale. And in the background, here comes uh, here comes our. <laughs> And right across the street, we've got our rig hooked up. Sure makes it nice and convenient as far as being close to the, the family. This is Yolanda and George, and they're really swell people. Now this is the view that we've got right alongside of us here where we're parked. And uh, of course it's really nice to see all the cactus and the palm trees, etc. Well, here we are in Palm Springs, and this is uh, the Arnold Palmer's golf course here, this PGA West, and just a beautiful, beautiful golf course. We're going to go over shortly to the Jack Nicklaus golf course. Okay, here we are at one of Jack Nicklaus's many golf courses. You can see that it is difficult to say the least. Well, here we are again. A little sand traps or something. Yeah, they're hitting up there already. I'd just love to be able to play this golf course, but... We're in our Thousand Trails Park here in Palm Springs. I just, uh, I'm standing on top of our motorhome. I just wanted to give you a little idea of some of the scenery that we're enjoying here. It's really nice. Give you another shot here with a different direction, and uh, right over here, that's Wayne and Naomi's rig, and so we're not very far from them. So we're here and enjoying ourselves. We got another week before we move on to Las Vegas. This is the Palm Springs Tramwell or Tramway. We're up here on top, and well, I'll tell you, it's quite a spectacular view. Palm 
Palm Springs right down there below us. Of course, in the distance, that's part of the freeway there. Then on farther down, of course, is uh, Cathedral City and Palm Desert and Indio. temperature is out there today but boy I'll tell you there's snow. This is the dining room area here at the top of the family and uh, we just finished a nice meal. Very comfortable setting. finishing hole at Bermuda Dunes and of course you see it a lot of times on television it's just a beautiful area beautiful finishing hole. well here's Wayne holding the pin on 18 how you doing there Wayne just fine beautiful day outstanding isn't it yes nice looking green you got well, here we're at the picturesque Marriott Hotel here in Palm Springs, and I'm just going to give you a little shot and see what an interesting hotel it is. They actually have boats that uh, transport. And here's these boats, like I was telling you, to go out here on this lake. And then you get some music, some calypso type music coming out in there. Makes for a nice setting. And then they have a golf course that surrounds this uh, hotel. We're inside this hotel right now and I just want to kind of scan the area and show you what the boats actually come inside here and they pick up passengers over here and then take them out to the uh, restaurant. This is a beautiful uh, hotel on the inside. Well, it's 90 degrees outside, but we're uh, very comfortable inside. Give you a shot of the uh, lake again and the doors that the boats come in and out of. Here's Wayne and his friend. They have a good time together. This happened to be Wayne's birthday too, so God bless you, Wayne. Happy birthday to you. Some nice looking fish in the water down there too, and pretty good sized ones. Don't know exactly what kind they are, but uh, they look tempting the anyway. They're loading up the boat here, getting ready to leave the hotel and go out on the lake too. So, another view of this hotel on the inside, and we're up here on the eighth floor, looking down, and that's your main lobby over there. 
We also, as we scan over here this way, here is the waterway. And there, of course, the boat landing. A little further down, you see some of the fish that they have in the water. And last year, we had a boat here to come in before PM. Wayne, this is what they call the lifestyles of the rich and famous, isn't it? Yeah. I guess we can only stay for another day. Well, we're here at the uh, Hoover Dam today. And we're getting ready to take a tour down the inside. And then just give you a quick little scan of the one side of the dam. better shot of the water here and that's pretty doggone steep I'll tell you when you look down show you another little view from uh, just the opposite side of the dam now and it's kind of interesting because this is really the state line and on this side the left side of the picture would be the Arizona side and over here of course is the I'm just patiently waiting right now to uh, take our tour. Down. Also, while we're waiting on line here, I was just going to show you the uh, upper side of the dam here and how the water level is down. By the way, this
quite a few in that school right there. Yes, there is. Well, here we are in Las Vegas, and we're looking at the uh, what they call the Mirage. And we're going to kind of scan the building here and go down and see some of the landscape. And it is beautiful, the fountains in front. And a little later on, we're going to watch them turn into a regular volcano. Isn't that amazing? Man, that's something else. Fire all over the place. Look at the river of fire over here to the right. off in the distance there and then over in this area we well, a little beyond is the dunes. Boy this is Rich River Prairie Land, I'll tell you. Here we come now. Now we're gonna see if we can catch this entire program for you and keep it up on top. Just see what happens. We're as close as we can possibly get to this waterfall. Right 
by the way, are the African homes. And they imported them special in 56. And the landscape has come through. And really beautiful. And everything is back in my line. We're here in uh, Reno today. Loretta Lynn's over at Harris Club, so we can spot her by us and probably take it. Well, we're here on our way to Virginia City, and uh, it's quite a climb up here, and I just wanted to show you some of the terrain. Of course, we're viewing Reno right now from up above here, and uh, it's quite a high elevation. I don't know what it is, but of course, that's all the casinos down in that area. Well, we're here in Virginia City, and uh, believe it or not, we've had quite a bit of snow in the area. And just give you a quick little shot of what we're out over in this area. We got a uh, graveyard, kind of like a boot. I wonder what kind of a vehicle that is. It says Union Beer on the side of it. It's the back side of the main street buildings and they're very interesting. I've been in here. And this is the main street of town. I'm sure you get a lot of interesting shops and here we are at the uh pretty Tahoe Lake area and uh, we're just traveling part of the uh, North Shore right now but it's extremely pretty area well we're up here in Crater Lake country right now and by golly I'll tell you this is as far as we can go we came in the south entrance and now we have to exit the south entrance because the north end entrance because of the snow is is uh, closed quite a view up here I'll give you a little different angle of the snow that we're confronting today that's the lodge over there and fortunately the parking lot is clear but uh, still there's a lot of well, we're here today at the Bend Preserve, and uh, just a beautiful little preserve. Over here they've got their own little Fort Laramie, and we'll go over here and take some pictures inside the fort here a little, a little later. But boy, it sure gets cold around this area. Last night uh, we had a lot of freezing going on. Had a little mishap uh, in the motorhome, but you don't think that was stride, so. Okay, we'll just sweep the area here and we'll scan around here. And come over here toward the, the trading post here. Here we have a blacksmith shop and over here we have some of the other little buildings. Broken Pine Saloon. And you can notice this wooden walk around here. Quite unique. And the trading post once again. Right on the Deschutes River, and I guess the fishing is mighty fine over here. Of course, there's the lodge. It's a pretty setting. tree line and this is the shot of the lodge well, we're here today at the lava okay we're looking at the highway that leads into uh, Bend and of course Bend is off in the distance there and then as we swing over here 
We're going to see. Mount Hood. Mount Hood is uh, probably about 150 miles from here. And as we continue to swing over here, we're going to start to uh, see the sisters come into view. That's a uh, sister range right in there. And then as we swing over here, we see Mount Bachelor, and of course, I think it's a lot of notoriety for its, uh, you know, ski resort. We're going to be heading up there uh, shortly, so it's going to be quite a view for us when we get up there, I'm sure. The weather here is just a little on the chilly side, so here we are in the latter part of March, too. Down below us is part of the uh, lava beds that are very predominant in this area. We're going to follow this little trail down here and we're at the lava cave area. And the cave area is really, it's not open right now. But we're kind of taking a look over the fence. And right down there is the cave. And uh, for sure we don't know how deep it is or anything, but... We re no, this isn't the aerial tram at uh, Palm Springs. This here is the ski lift at Mount Bachelor. And boy, I'll tell you, Quite a sight. Very interesting place. Yeah, we'll take one more last look at the Mount Bachelor and the U.S. Olympic ski team practices when they get ready for competition.